for my poor little doodles going into surgery today. Yeah, hey, come here. You, he, uh, I think he knows too. He's like, wait a minute, I'm in the car. You're talking about vets, but he has an abscess tooth he has to get rid of. He also has this huge, huge, huge growth. You can kind of see it right here, but it's gotten a little bigger over the last year. And the, the vet said, you know, when we found it years ago, that if it ever started to get bigger, you were going to want to remove it. So uh, he's trying to get down to the floor to see if there's any crumbs down there. But you can't eat anything, Thor. You're on a, a no food restriction until you get done. Get your last sniffs in, your last wee wee's in. Let's go. Uh, Go get you taken care of so you're feeling better. Little doodle bear. He's a little nervous. He's just shaking. He's like, Ugh. sorry, Thor. It's for the best, though. All right. Well, Thor is uh, going into surgery soon. I'll pick him up later this afternoon. It's always like, ah, uh, I just, ah, uh, I love Thor so much. I love all my pets, but whenever you bring him to the the vet for a surgery, thing like this, and drop him off, you know, I was just kind of like, oh, you know, you, you worry. And I'll worry all day about him, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Um, you know, the vet we go to is a, a fantastic vet. They have a really good track record and things like that. Who's my cool girl? Are you using your pockets? Okay. Yeah, what are we doing? Where are we going? Okay, yeah, where are we going to go? Do you know? We're going to go to the zoo. Yeah, should we go get a donut first? Let's roll, cute stuff. Are we going to stop and get donuts? Yeah! Say donuts. 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 Do you want the pink one with sprinkles? Okay. Can I do a pink one with sprinkles, please? Yeah. And then I'll do a chocolate uh, with chocolate frosting. No chocolate. Oh yeah, chocolate for dad. Are you ready to go to the zoo, Iris? Okay. Let's roll. You've been being so patient. We had to renew our membership. There's a bird. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, and I uh, I had to renew our membership, and I actually, I thought the zoo opened at 9, but it opened at 10, and luckily we got here at 9.57 instead of 9 when I originally wanted to be here, so it would have been an hour earlier, but we stopped, we got donuts, we have juice, we got our memberships, we're gonna go to the zoo. Look at this one, Iris. Look at this one. Yeah. The white white snake, huh? Where's the snake's tail? Yeah, it's got a tail over there. Where's the turtle? Look, Iris, come here. Turtle. Turtle. I feel like a terrible father from laughing at this, but Iris just walked into the glass display like ah, boing, and she's okay, she's fine. She was like, oh, dad, my head. But just, uh, kids. <laughs> Tamisuma. Tamisuma, I guess is what they call it. It's a type of, cro it's in the crocodile family. What do you think, Iris? The crocodile family. Hey. Hi ho, silver o, water horse. It's kind of scary to me that she's just like willing to go up to something like that. I know it's not real, but I'm just like, I have this like, crazy fear that she would see an alligator or crocodile in real life and just run up and try to pet it and oh it's just terrifying. Say hello wallaby. Yeah say hi baby monkey. Say hello. He's a gorilla. Gorilla. You're like oh look at the baby giraffe. Look at the baby. You like baby giraffes? You like giraffes in general? Oh look they're playing. I don't think they're fighting, but we'll just pretend they're playing. So Nikki and I have been talking about doing like one day a week mommy-daughter day and one day a week daddy-daughter day. That way Nikki and I can both take Iris out and do something fun and she just gets a lot of exposure to a lot of things like the zoo. She gets to see a lot of animals, she gets to see other kids, other people. It's kind of, you know, socializing, but, uh, and I think it'd be great because now Iris is, you know, going on two and a half. She'll be three before we know it, but she can kind of, like, I can take her places and we can have so much fun just running around and looking at stuff and playing at the zoo. We're on our way to the little park right now. I'm going to let her run some energy out, but it's, um, I'm like really, really excited about these daddy-daughter days because I'm having a blast right now. Are you going to love Dada forever? Yeah. You're gonna be, are you gonna go on daddy-daughter day forever? 
Yeah, you want to hold the more donut? You little sneak. You little sneak. We're going to play at the park. Hey, you. Hey. We're at the park. All by yourself. Whee! Is that fun? Iris, look, they're coming down the water slide. <laughs> Whole squad. You know which animal you want to ride on the carousel? Horsey! You want to ride a horsey? Okay. Okay. You want to ride the gorilla? Okay. Okay. Guys, we were shooting a video for your favorite Nikki today, and this is Grace Smith. Grace is a celebrity hypnotist, mm -hmm. and it was amazing. You guys are gonna have to check out the video on my channel and check out Grace. It was just such a cool experience. I did a hypnotherapy session, and she's such a sweetheart. Oh, yeah, thank I had you. a lot of fun. I thank loved you the for... session. It was you so were much. Fabulous. It was great. Thank you. I can't wait to hear your results. Yeah. In a few days, it just gets stronger and stronger, goes deeper and deeper. It'd be really cool to hear what everybody thinks. Yeah, that would be it. You guys are going to have to check out this video. I feel uh, funny saying that, oh, that it was so much fun. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> but it was it was a healing yeah. process. So maybe fun isn't the right word, but it was an enjoyable experience, and I think we made a lot of progress. Absolutely. So check out the videos. The animals have been flocking around Grace. I love them. Yeah. Boo was right here this whole therapy session and then Lola's in it. She was just laying on top of me. <laughs> she went right down. Yes, she did. Lola exactly. got hypnotized today. <laughs> so yeah, we were just shooting today and your uh, Grace is in town from Florida where yes. she lives. Mm -hmm. It's good to be back in LA. I lived here for about a year. So it's just wonderful to be able to bring this powerful tool to tons of new people. You have an amazing story and a great spin on hypnotherapy. And I love how passionate you are, you are about it. And it works. It's a real thing. Yeah, it totally works. Totally mm -hmm. a real thing. And I just want everyone to try this first instead of last and it'll save them so much time and money and suffering. So it's really cool to be able to give this information to so many new people. So thanks everybody. And I just noticed mm -hmm. as I'm vlogging with you right now, I'm not thinking as much about the future. <laughs> Like I'm in the moment yes, vlogging. I'm right, right here, here right, right now. now. Present moment. Perfect. That's what, that's what we worked on today. I have um, a lot of stress that comes with not being in the present moment. Or I had a lot of stress. Yes, I exactly. Should say. In the past. The past tense. Yeah. The past and the future don't matter. I'm I'm trying to work on being more present. Yeah. And uh, that's what what we confronted today. Doesn't it feel so good when you're like, oh, it's working already. I, I definitely <laughs> feel like it's working already. I'm just here, I'm just talking, yeah. not thinking about what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. You know, that's even when I when I vlogged before, I'm like, I, I think about what I'm gonna say before I say it. Yeah. And now I'm just talking and I think it's helping being more present. Good, oh, I'm so excited for you. When you see a result that fast, cause it really does accumulate over time. So if you see it immediately, you it's already know. It's just gonna know. get better. In two or three days, it's gonna be like, whoa, I'm really here. Yay! <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yes, well, thank you so thank much. You that was amazing. Me. So awesome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming. You guys are seriously walking in the door right as she was walking out. Did you see her? Yeah. On your way out? Oh, you did? I just thought it was you. She was like, Mama. <laughs> that was Grace. How was the zoo? Okay. Did you go to the zoo with Dada? Yeah. I see a crocodile. What did you see? Oh, you saw a crocodile? Yeah. Oh my gosh. How cool. Where are you going? Tell me more. What else did you see at the zoo? Did you see any other animals? Snake. A snake? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Iris was so exhausted. John really tuckered her out taking her to the zoo today. I could just tell she was like fighting to stay awake. And then I finally laid her down in her crib and her eyes were just like, okay, I'm ready. 
I need sleep now. Today has been great. I'm feeling really positive after my hypnotherapy session. I'm so glad that I was introduced to her. She was just, she was so nice too. I feel like we clicked. Um, but I just feel like I'm in a different mindset right now. Uh, my day is feeling longer. It's only been a couple hours since I had my hypnotherapy session and I feel like on a normal day it would be night already. I would feel like the time went by so fast. I'm gonna get so much done today, I'm gonna go fold some laundry, and I'm gonna be present in the moment while I fold laundry. I just wanna take a minute or two out of today's vlog to talk about Surveo. They're actually sponsoring this vlog, so they're doing a, a placement here. But I think it's a pretty cool app, and also a pretty cool website that you guys can use for free. One of the really cool things about Surveo is it allows people like me that are influencers to put surveys out and ask you guys questions that I want answers to. For instance, the survey that we're gonna be looking at today is whether you guys are Team John or Team Nikki. I know you guys are all Team John, so we'll just go Team ahead. Team Nikki! Ooh, ooh! Come on, baby! So we'll just go ahead um, and you guys, I'll show you how the site works. We'll go over the website, how to set up a survey, how to vote, how to use it, how to get feedback from people uh, that you might wanna ask questions to. And here is the survey that I made on the website. Are you Team John or Team Nikki? There's a little information here. Uh, and you can vote to answer Team Nikki or Team John. And I am Team John, so I'll select that. I'll vote. Uh, and we'll see the results. And one of the neat things about this website and app is it's geotagged. So wherever you start a survey or wherever someone answers a survey, you'll be able to see where they are and get feedback from around the world on your surveys, which is pretty cool. So click on the link in the description below or head on over to surveyo.com and search our username Nikki and John and answer our survey. And remember guys, this website and app is 100% completely free. It's super easy to use, super easy to create visual surveys, and you guys can share these surveys on all of your social media websites, which is a great way to get feedback from your friends. And you're also able to target whatever demographic that you want for your survey. And on March 1st, Nikki and I will be picking one person who answered the survey to win a $100 cash Visa gift card. All you have to do is click on the survey, answer it, and comment on the survey. You will need to register as a user to comment on the survey. There's a little icon right here on the page. It's a little message looking button. Click that, comment Team John or Team Nikki. And on March 1st, we will pick one winner who commented on the survey and answered the survey to win a $100 cash Visa gift card. How cool is that? She's singing a song about you. I tried to get Kenobi to pee in a cup, but he wouldn't do it. He's singing a song about me. Yeah, where is Dada? So we're on our way to pick up Thor from surgery. You guys might have remembered we found blood on our bed the other day. Well, we made a vet appointment for him the next day, and when he was at the vet, they said that <laughs> they said that he has to have his tooth pulled and so he went into surgery today because they ha he had to be put under for that so we had to schedule it and uh, apparently they had to pull seven teeth now so we're gonna have a little toothless doodle he's gonna be walking around everywhere like ah, with his tongue hanging out and John said I couldn't sit in the front seat he said, I didn't say that. You, I said you could. On the way there. You had to put this in your lap. You, you said, but on the way back. A up here. He's a little sidekick. Yeah. John made a little bed for Thor in the yeah. front seat. He's a good surgery, Nikki. Jeez. I respect that. I respect it. Yeah. I feel bad that he had had seven teeth pulled out of his butt. It's life, I guess. You what? know what the best part about having a toddler is? What? High fives? Yep. Anytime you want them. Yeah. She loves to give high fives. True story. Iris also told me that the crocodile bit her hand today at the zoo. Uh, no. <laughs> that might not be true. I don't think so. She Maybe asked, the pretend alligator. She asked me Did to kiss it. Did the pretend alligator bite your pretend hand? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I bit what? He bit your foot too? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You're just getting bit by crocodiles? Did we see five different alligator slash crocodiles today, Iris? Oh, your foot hurt, your, your owie? Yeah. When you got bit? Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh, Iris, what did you find? 
You found colors. What color are you gonna do? Yeah. What? Oh, you like the pencil? How you doing, Thor? He has to wear a cone for a while. Yeah, for like a week, for and a half. Aww. Oh, I forgot to tell you, because he was under, he got some warts removed too. So yeah, he had a big old wart on his neck, so we had that removed since he was getting his teeth done. And one on his leg, right? Luckily his tongue is staying in his mouth. Yeah. You know he'd be cute, like. Toothless Thor. A lot of the teeth uh, were his upper teeth, so. He still has a lot more left. Well, he's actually, was, he's missing like a lot of falling out too. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, and we like, just never saw like it? Eight teeth have fallen out. I think so that's he's, normal. He's down like 15 teeth out of, I think like, 40-ish or something. Oh. All right, doodle. You know what they say. What? His bark is worse than his bite. <laughs> Poor Thor. Sorry, Thor. Jokes at your expense are not funny. <laughs> you baby him so much. I don't. What are you talking about? You baby that doodle bear. <laughs> Carry, you get carried inside and you get wet food because you get pills. <laughs> Chef John preparing Thor a meal. Oh. Seem like good? It's an okay choice? The finest? It smells okay. <laughs> Kenobi's so jealous. Look at him, he's like, oh, what are you doing, boss? Huh? Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm a little. Thor gets spoiled today. I'm just gonna set him out here. You can see he's got his, he had a big old wart right there, take it off, and uh, I'm gonna leave him in the office. I'll be spending the night with him in the office probably. But, uh, <laughs> poor little doodle. You're in a little cone. Just gonna let him relax and lay down and get some sleep. He'll, he'll put some water out here for him, but yeah, I think he'll be okay. Right, my little doodle bear. <laughs> I just asked everyone to go inside and he kinda like, he like jumped. Oh, my little doodle. <laughs> Poor guy. What do you think? Are you happy? Are you serious right now? Do you want to just tell? Do you want to tell them what you just asked me off camera? <laughs> no, not really. Well, Nikki, Thor is, he's hurting, he's in pain. John just asked me if I wanted to sleep on the couch tonight, so Thor has a little extra room in the bed. I think I said a little extra space. <laughs> well, Why don't you sleep on the couch and I'll sleep with Thor? Because he's my dog. Well, you know, it would be the courteous thing to do. Oh, would it? Yeah. I do feel bad for Doodle Bear. He is, he seems like he might be a little sore right now, John yeah, was saying. Yeah, definitely really sore. And it was, mouth is really sore, but he had seven teeth pulled out, so I don't want to touch his mouth, but I think his leg, his back leg is kind of hurting. What are you doing? You're playing a game. I'm playing Mario. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like not even looking at the camera. <laughs> Sorry, playing, playing Mario on the iPhone. I'm totally addicted to this game. I just, I don't know, I was sitting here with Thor, just kind of like watching him pay attention to make sure he was okay and playing Mario. And Gizmo's watching over Thor too. FYI, Iris is also telling me that she's busy now. Yeah! I ask her to do something and she says, no, I'm busy. You ready to go night night? No, I'm awake. You're awake? Mm -hmm. Well guys, it's that time of the day. I need to wrap up this vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I had an awesome experience trying hypnotherapy. I think Iris and Dada had a great daddy-daughter day at the zoo. And now we're just gonna keep an eye on Doodle and let poor Thor rest up after his surgery. He has some pills that we have to give him um, over the next couple days, but we'll take good care of him. Thank you guys for watching please give this video a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe and always remember that i love you and stay tuned for more vlogs Mwah.